Yo, what's good YouTube? It's Elliot here from Neanderthal Fitness, www.neanderthalfit.com. Personal trainer, fitness instructor, and YouTube talk at the camera guy. So today I'm coming at you with a product review, not endorsed at all, as if any of you thought that, given how small the channel still is right now. But no, not being paid to do this. Um, I bought the bottle. Uh, it's a shaker bottle, bought it, and I just want to give you guys my thoughts as a slightly different video to what I normally do. So, um, first things first, let me show you, just giving it a rinse because this is literally going to be the first time I use it. So you'll see there, nice Hench logo on there, I'll just say Hench Nutrition. So I bought this shaker bottle off Amazon, but Hench do have their own website as well. Um, this Amazon.co.uk was either 4.19, yeah, 4.99 for this. Um, I've got a friend who's got Amazon Prime, so I got free delivery. So pretty good if you guys have got that. 4.99 bags you the 600 ml shaker bottle. Comes with one of these uh, nifty little uh, whisk balls. So it's just light metal. I've never used one with a whisk ball before, so I don't know how this compares to other whisk balls in terms of. <coughs> That goes inside, and of course we have, just dry this off as well, we have the cap. So, cap feels pretty good, feels solid plastic, the thing pops all the way back. It doesn't have that nifty feature that it doesn't clip in, so you can still dunk yourself in the face when you're drinking, if you're stupid enough not to hold it. Um, good quality, it's a nice snap on it, definitely watertight, or feels definitely watertight. So snaps up, you've got a nice rubber seal inside um, and one of the first things I noticed when I put the bottle together was that you get a really nice seal so I definitely have no doubt this is going to be waterproof which we'll test right now because I'm going to make up a shape to also test how it blends sorry guys, stood a bit close to the camera there so okay, um, so first things first I'm going to go with 500 ml of whole milk Guys, now I get the lacto free because of because um, I have to, because otherwise I'll shit everywhere. So, lacto free milk, 500 mils should just have enough. Um, yeah, there's just a little bit of milk left, so I'm just swig that out later. So, 500 mils. I'm just going to add some bog standard cheap uh, chocolate whey protein. Now I say cheap. My supplements I'm going to be ordering. Uh, probably this weekend, ready to start next week. It'll be coming from myprotein.co.uk, so I'll put review up on those as well. Um, so this is actually more expensive. Um, this is from Holland and Barrett, but this is just Holland and Barrett's standard stuff. So uh, let's see how big is this scoop? So it says 27 grams. So I'm going to put basically 30 grams of this in. Like 40. Shake it level. It's just over 30 grams. Doesn't smell that gone off yet. So 30 grams in. Just going in on top of the milk. Um, usually I tend to put the powder at the bottom, but I want to taste test the efficiency of the shaker ball. So I'm on top. I'm going to hold the top just so it doesn't. Turn. You can definitely feel the weight of the shaker ball inside here and doing its thing. I'm hoping this is going to be a nice consistency shake here. Um, so it didn't really look too chocolatey just yet, so let's give it a little whiz. Alright, so one thing you'll notice no splash off. Definitely no leakage, no protein stuck at the bottom of the bottle when we flip it up. Can't really tell if there's any at the top, but I guess there's not. But one quick last shake, get the little, uh, get the nice little logo. Basically, a bit of advertising there. Okay, so mixed. Let's see how it holds up. Smells terrible. Let me just check the date on this stuff. November next year. So it should be good. One last shake because I've probably let that settle a bit. Alright, so we'll shack up. Doesn't look like there's any obvious clumps. 
Yeah. Straight away got a big lump there, so that's not great. But in general, it seems pretty good. There are a few lumps in there, but nothing too terrible. Um, it could certainly do with a hot chocolatey taste, but that isn't down to the shaker bottle. So I'm going to finish this off. I'll leave you with my thoughts, guys. Hence, shaker nutrition bottle. Great value for money. Comes with a whisk. You can easily fit a fully, uh, fully mixed one pint protein shake or weight gain shake in here. Blends okay considering it's not an electric blender, um, and of course the blend also relies on the quality of the protein. And I'm just using the budget stuff today. So my thoughts, pretty good. Seems like a good shaker bottle. Happy with it. No leaks, no fuss. I love the design. Um, you know, I want to try the Hench Nutrition products, which I will try when I've got a bit more cash. In the meantime, I'm going to go my protein because it's a hell of a lot cheaper. But I'm going to try them both and assess kind of my weight gain in relation to their mass gainer shakes. So uh, that's the video, guys. Give it a like, give it a thumbs up, um, comment down below with anything else you want to see in the upcoming videos, and subscribe for more videos all the time. Peace, guys. See you in the next video.